Damn it. I started and I don't have my drink. Can Hold on a second. This is off to a good start. Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm here. <laughs> I'm seven minutes late and still don't have my drink. Like what is even happening? I'm sorry. Cheers. Clink. We like to really just cut things closer every time we do this. That's just, that's how, that's how we're doing it. I told you I was going to be a minute later every single time I do these until almost I'm an hour late. Just kidding. Mabes. Um, so there's a, guys, there's a lot of prep that goes into this. Okay. Not that much really, but Okay, so here we are. Britt Clark is here. Oh my goodness, what a turnout already. Yas. Um, I'm scrolling up. I wanna say my hellers. Hello. Thank you guys to all of you who gave me, I think this is the most thumbs up I've ever received before a video actually started. So thank you so much. Um, if you haven't given this a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it if you did. Okay, so Jerry is here. Hi, Jerry. Allie, she was number 22 with a fist in the air, giving this video a like. Thank you so much. Um, oh, my Aunt Leslie is here. Hi, Aunt Leslie. CC said Kate is obsessively checking her Wi-Fi as we speak. Yes. I I like I like to check my Wi-Fi about like seven to ten times, all because of that one time when I wasn't on Wi-Fi. So I've I have PTSD. I'm completely scarred. Um Christina Downey, and I saw Christina Downey as I was getting ready. She sent me a PayPal or a Venmo. Thank you so much to Christina Downey. She said, finally made a Friday live stream with a lovely Malbec for company. Talking about starting the night off right. Thank you so much, Christina. Jennifer Gould said, I hope that everyone is having a beverage and a mask. Lauren Boyles, Lauren is here. We have the best group chat. I have a hair in my eye. Wow, I'm a mess. Um, <laughs> Swimbo said it's too early for a mask, but I'm drinking a glass of Marical Folk. What the hell? Marical Folk from Lang Vineyards in Penticton, BC. <laughs> Are you, is that supposed to, is that a joke? Did you write that just to, to make me sound like an idiot? Because that is a mouthful. Um, Catnip4, hello from New Jersey. It rained ice pellets today. Yes, it snowed here. I couldn't believe it. Um, Jennifer Gould said, hello, Kate, Randy, Sarah, and Sherry Ford. <laughs> Sherry Ford is now just a part of the gang. Oh, and good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Cousins. Yes, yes. Um, Heather Willis is here from Virginia. Hello. GCK. Uh, Hi, first time live. I watch every video on replay only. Oh, that's right. I think, I think this lovely lady, I think her name is Gisela, actually. And she was so kind and like, an hour ago, I received just a PayPal from her to support my channel. So thank you so much to Gisela. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, Kate Puglia. Hello, everyone. I'm currently putting on my Lush cupcake mask and making Aunt Carol's best soup. <laughs> wow. Love that specificity. Oh, and sipping some big chum Chardonnay. Okay. Wow, Kate, you are ready, ready. Um, 
I've missed so much already. Jamie K said, I'm still on a Zoom happy hour, but I'm in the chat. Jamie K is multitasking. She means business. Bonnie, Bonnie Nominson. Hello, everyone. We're getting snow in Montana. I hope your weather is better else everywhere else. I'm a weirdo. I, I, I'll take snow all year round. I like gray, chilly, rainy weather. That's just my vibe. Um, guys, I'm running out of head wraps. I'm like, I'm like scouring my drawer for like head wraps I haven't worn and there are none to be found because I've, I've worn them all. Oh, everyone, I've already, I've got now gotten to the part where everyone's asking where I am. Where's Kate? We need merch that says we love Kate, but she's always late. I know, I'm sorry. I like, I like to um, keep you on pins and needles. Grace Maltese, Kate, are you clapping for the healthcare workers? Yes, just as I was getting ready, it was like someone was screaming out the window and someone in our apartment building has a, like a cowbell, which is, I love it. It's great. Momo Kitty. Hello, everyone. Cheers from Philly. W well done to everyone for making it through another week of quarantine times. Yes. Um, wow. Just scrolling here. Just scrolling. Oh, is, is Better Off Red here? No, there she is. How does your... Better off red. How does your bare skin look better than my full beat? Mad about it. That's not true. It's just not true. Okay. It's not. Lori Abercrombie. There's a store here that has head wraps on sale. Run, do not walk. Okay. So first I have to tell you guys what I'm drinking, right? I'm drinking this delicious, it's the same thing I had last time. I'm not even gonna, but here's the thing. Last time I had this, I don't want to say it was shitty, but it was shitty. It was um, some, I'm not gonna say the name, but it was some, some vodka from Colorado, which of course anything from Colorado sells me immediately. I'm like, that's gotta be good. It's from Colorado. Um, and it said it was made from pure glacier water and it tasted like ass. And I tried and I tried and I tried and you know what, in a pinch with things get real rough, we're going to go back to the glacier water vodka, but move <laughs> beyond that. I just, today I went out on my walk and I was like, why do I sound more like I'm from North Dakota all of a sudden? I'm like, today I went on my walk and I bought some vodka. What am I doing? I think it's because I talked to Britt Clark on Marco Polo. She's not from North Dakota. She's from upstate New York, but it's this crazy accent that I'm obsessed with. It's like Boston and Fargo. And I'm just like, when I talk to her, I immediately start just going like this, you know, like it's kind of crazy. So sorry. Also, why am I yelling? Anyway, the point is I bought some Tito's, okay? That's the point of the story. I got some Tito's, I broke down, I went to the only liquor store that's like has a really, really good selection because the other one in our neighborhood, because the other one shut down, um, much to our discontent. Um, and the reason I hate going to this liquor store that's the only option now, this is besides the winery, right? Because the winery is bougie and we love them, but they only sell mostly wine. So I went to the liquor store close by that's open and I love the family who runs it. It's great, but it is, it's on a block that I'm not going to lie is it's sketchy. I mean, that's an understatement. It's just sketchy McSketchinson's over there. And so um, I try not to go there, but now it's the only option. I'm like, I can't drink this damn glacier water vodka anymore. So I broke down. I got some Tito's. I got some more Jameson cask mates. <sighs> so I'm having, wow, that was a five minute intro to what I'm having. This is a Cape Cod, as someone reminded me last time. And I made it strong. It's strong. Mmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 
Again, if you could throw this vid a like, I'd so appreciate it. Um, and wait, what am I missing? What am I missing? Okay, so first of all, wait, so here we go. Guys, tonight we're masking. We're not only drinking, we're masking. Get excited. I have <laughs> more masks than anyone should probably ever do in one, in one night, but I don't care. I don't care. I am already doing one. I've had these on for 40 minutes. It says to have them on for 15. I don't care. I'm going to tell you what they are. Because I felt like I had some red ass tired eyes. So this is what I did to get ready. Ooh, it's dusty. Gross. <laughs> Hell, let me clean this off for you before I show it to you. These are the Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. Okay, I talked about them in a skincare video recently. Um, they were sent to me by Good Molecules, and they are the shit. Now, I can't tip them over totally because the goo is going to run out, but these are like the perfect thing to use when you just feel puffy and tired. So, trust me, my eyes did not look like this before. Um, so that's my first mask of the evening. <sighs> okay, I lined them up. Um, okay, so first I'm going to go in with, and then I'm going to scroll back up and see your comments. I'm going to go in with my first mask of the night. Guys, if you don't have a mask, what are you doing? Come on, get with the program. Mm. Penn Smith Skincare is here. Oh, I'm missing everything. I miss it. Of course she is because it's a skincare night. Pensmith Skincare is like my go-to skincare person on the interwebs, on YouTube. If you don't subscribe to Pensmith Skincare, I also did a collab with her um, a while back. She is a gem of a woman and she knows so much about skincare. It kind of like blows my mind into smithereens. Um, so thank you, Penn, for being here. <gasps> Mr. Kong's mom is, mom is here. Mr. Kong's mom. How did I miss it? Oh my gosh. Also, Mr. Kong's mom is a new find for me. And I love her vibe. She is giving me a silvery haired, like, situation. She, like, yesterday I watched her live. She was giving me, like, a dusty gray eye. She's from Oregon, which is one of my favorite states. She's just, I just, I just love, I, I need to dig into more of her videos. Like I said, she's a new find for me because I found her through Penn Smith Skincare. But please, please go check out Penn Smith Skincare. Go check out Mr. Kong's mom. I'm into it. All right, we've got to put on a mask and then we'll catch up. This is my goddess. Okay, this is my Charlotte. Oh, it's blown out. It's blown out. Oh, it's not getting better. Okay, it's my Charlotte Tilbury. My dad, my dad sent me $20 and a pair looking at itself on the mirror and loving itself. Thanks, dad. Okay, so I wanted to take this moment to let you know that is my mom's birthday. It's Donna's birthday. She is 69 years old today on April 10th. So please give her a happy birthday. They are in, you know, quarantine birthday times over in Vegas. Um, and they got their favorite takeout from Nora's. If you're in Vegas, run, do not walk to Nora's, Nora's and get their takeout because I've had Nora's and it's some of the best, most sumptuous Italian food I've ever had. And, um, and they're having a nothing, what is it called? Nothing but bunt cakes or something. They're having a bunt cake and it's, it's from this company. Someone shout it out, dad, put it in the comments. But it is, um, oh, so many happy birthdays. Yay! Nothing bunt cakes. Nothing bunt cakes. Yes, thank you, Mr. Kong's mom. Exactly. This is some of the best cake I've ever had. And I'm not a sweets person at this point in my life. Like, I used to be a huge sweets person, and then I lost kind of my palate for it or something. But that, my mouth was just bursting with saliva this place that makes these cakes is out of hand. So um, anyway, <laughs> it's really great. 
and they're I mean that's a commitment that's a commitment when on your birthday you're watching a live stream so thank thank you mom and dad <laughs> sorry I'm just scrolling I haven't even put a damn mask on Oh, MB said, happy birthday, Donna. We share the same birthday week, fe week, fellow Aries. Okay, there's so many happy birthdays. I can't read them all, but thank you for wishing my mom a happy birthday. Um, Karen Krause said, Kate the Late, thank you. New, new name. <laughs> the Raspberry Bunt is the best. Nice. Okay, so this is... This is the Charlotte Tilbury goddess mask. And you guys can see I'm down to the very bottom of this. I have had this for, I wanna say like maybe close to two years, okay? That's how long it's lasted. It is a purifying clay mask. And what does it say? It's a, it's a miracle. Skin's texture appears visibly healed, hydrated, and rejuvenated. Skin feels smoother, firmer, and plumper. Okay, so here's what I'll say about this. You guys know I... I'm sorry. What is happening? I'm having some indigestion. <laughs> this um, is a pure... It's, it's a clay mask, and I sort of interchange it with my sand and sky mask, which I love. But the thing I love about this mask, which kind of wins me over between the two, is that it softens your skin as well. It's not harsh. You know when you take off a clay mask and it's just like the Sahara, you're just like, mm, I can't move my mouth now. Okay, that's not going to happen with this. So I'm going to, and it's, it's a little goes a long way. It also smells amazing. And so we're starting with a purifying mask and then we're gonna move on to some more hydrating situations. I feel very nervous that Penn Smith Skincare is here because it's like, am I doing it right? <laughs> I don't know. Jenny with a Y, ooh, look at you with your bougie brush. This is the sand and sky, this is the brush you get if you get the um, sand and sky, like their go-to pink clay mask. But it's like the perfect little brush. And just a little bit more, wow, I'm almost out of this. Okay, I'm scrolling up while I'm doing this. More than just skin. Oh, this is what I wanted to say. She said, more than just skin, said, happy birthday, Donna. Thanks for raising someone as, quote, great as Kate. That's so sweet. Um, so more than just skin, please go and follow her on Instagram. I know that I'm shouting a lot of people out, but you know what? Get used to it. Because I like to shout people out. That's how we... That's how we get, you know, some traction and some support. And that's how, you know, I got anywhere that I am. And I'm a big, big fan. So please, more than just skin on Instagram. She has been so supportive of my channel. She's always posting in her stories to watch my happy hours. Um, I love her Instagram. She used to have a YouTube channel, but her life got super intense and super busy. And she's, you know... She's got shit to do. So now she took it all over to Instagram. And um, I really, I really, really love her. So please check her out. Okay. I think we're done with this. See, that's all you need. You just need a thin layer. Um, okay. Just seeing what I missed. Ali Sun said there's almost 200 people here. Yes, yes, indeed. Real Lee, Real Beauty said, can we cheers for me officially on furlough after today? Low key terrified. Okay, cheers to Real Lee, Real Beauty. Cheers to you. <clears throat> oh, 
<clears throat> Kim said she just followed um, more than just skin on Instagram. Carolyn Wilson, it's wonderful to promote others and can't get enough suggestions while I'm quarantined, right? So good. Yeah, Karen said Lampy is not doing well. Okay, guys, listen. <laughs> I hate when she's upside down because she looks just awful. Lampy's got to go. Okay, like she's she's done. Like she's officially done. I beat her daily to make her um, work. And it's not, even the beatings aren't working. YouTube robots, we're talking about a lamp. Just so you know, it's a lamp. Lampy's a lamp. Sometimes you have to talk to the bots. You know what I mean? Like they're just gonna, they're not all there. <laughs> I do have to get a different, a different lamp though. Cause we actually do need light in here. Okay, Lauren Boyle said Kate is the queen of positivity. Uh, <laughs> wow, I mean, you know, there are a lot of things that could be said about me. I'm not sure that's one of them, but I will take it and I'll run with it right now. Thank you so much, Lauren. Um, Swim, Swimbo said Kate is how I found better off red. Her videos are awesome. Yes, they are. And I will tell you to go watch Sarah's videos till the end of time. Better Off Red said, there shall be a lampy resurrection. It's Easter after all. Oh my goodness. Miracles do happen. Miracles do happen. Jennifer Gould, Kate, please do your part for the environment and change out the guts. It's so easy. Well, Jennifer Gould, I don't know how to do that. Help me. Give me an instruction. I don't... I don't know how to change out the guts of electronic devices or lamps. Jenna sent $25, the best part of quarantine. Thank you, Kate and Randy. Charcoal mask is on. Cheers. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So this is the other thing. Oh, my dad said, Ikea said a new lampy is coming. Does that mean... It's being sent to me. I don't know. I'm excited. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe he's just saying that Ikea said, I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means, but I'm into it. <sighs> it's hard. It's hard guys. It's hard when you're on the other side and you're just trying to read tone, <laughs> tone from written word. I can get dicey. Um, Britt Clark, Kate, your lives are the best thing about quarantine. Oh my, I mean, that is, that is a true, um, compliment coming from Britt, Britt Clark because I love her content. Okay. So the other thing I wanted, uh, to say is that, well, the other thing there's, <laughs> there will be several things throughout this, but first of all, I always just clarify that. We love a super chat, you know, super chat, if you don't know, is a way that you can um, support my channel. It's like a bright, colorful situation. You can send money and everyone sees it and it's just a celebration. So that's amazing. Um, YouTube does take a percentage of that. They take a 30% percentage of that. So if you don't want that to be the case, you can always send it to my Venmo PayPal, um, which is listed in my description box. And Randy will go ahead and <clears throat> put my, did you like how I did that? I was like, <clears throat> Randy, Randy, <laughs> we'll put my um, account right here for you. Okay, he said he'll only do it if I talk about Jumanji too. Okay, okay. <laughs> no one knows what that means right now, but we'll get to it. So, you can always you can always support the channel in those ways. Britt Clark is also saying merch. Let's not forget about merch. I do have some cute ass merch, okay? And that's also in the description box. I have back my back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up merch. I have my youngish merch. I've got my good job merch. I got my plushest merch. What more do you want? Okay, so there's that way. 
But this is something that Randy actually brought up and I think it's a really, really good point. Like if you, if you, let's say you don't have the money to spend or you don't wanna spend the money, you don't have to do that. You know what is also like worth a million dollars to me? Well, maybe not a million dollars, but it's worth a lot to me. <laughs> it's worth a lot. Wow, I look like, I look like Marlon Brando in the, the Island of Dr. Moreau right now. This is just not, this is not good. But it is what it is, we're accepting it. The other things you can do is you can um, use my affiliate links. So this is something I was talking about with Sarah of Better Off Red. I think a lot of people don't know about affiliate links. When we talk about a description box, that is the thing that is underneath the video. It's actually quite easy to locate. You just look underneath the video and you click on it and it's right there. And I link everything I use and talk about there. And they're affiliate links, which means that if you love something I talk about and you're like, oh my God, I love how she used that. I'm into it. I want to buy that. It's right there for you to click on it. And then I basically get a small commission out of that, which helps my channel, which means that I can buy more product and do more with my channel. So there's that. But even easier than that, well, they're both pretty easy. That, you can also just share. Sharing is such a huge deal. Like that is how... I don't know, any of us get anywhere, really. Like if you said, like if you shared one, two, three, four, five, whatever of my videos with just like one other person that you think would enjoy them, it means the world to me. You know, it 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 honestly means just as much as like you sending a PayPal or a Venmo or what or a super chat or whatever. They're all so meaningful, and I don't want you to think that. It's just one kind of support that I appreciate because that's not the case. So I just wanted to put that out there. <clears throat> Britt Clark. It always means so much when people use links since the description box always takes forever, especially linking everything. You guys, it's true. Link, like putting our description box together for every video is a bitch. It's a bitch. Okay. So <laughs> please scroll down and click on the damn links. <laughs> Because I will have people, I'll have people comment and they'll be like, Kate, I have like, you know, 10 things in my cart or I have a bunch of stuff in my cart and, and I'm ready to buy it. And I'm so excited. Thank you so much. And I'm like, but did you use my code? Did you, not my codes. Did you use my links? And like, I know people to use my links because <laughs> I'll see like, you know, everyone has all this stuff in their cart and then like, I'll have like zero zero in reward style or you know what I mean like so I feel like it's something that people just don't know about and that's totally valid so now I'm telling you y'all can use some affiliate links and also just share share people's shit you know it's really appreciated it's really appreciated more than just skin Kate don't forget people can use your links at the upcoming Sephora sale it starts on April 17th for Rouge that's true so I am Another thing that I'm going to talk about in a second, but um, I am going to be doing a Sephora VIB recommendation video. Um, Better Off Red said, y'all, use the links in the description box. You heard it from Better Off Red. Sulema Luna. Ooh, that's a beautiful name. Hello, Kate from Houston. My husband now watches with me. My husband now watches with me. Wow. Well, I feel honored. And we both look forward to these happy hours. Keep them up. Okay, I, I just have to say, like, a husband watching my live streams with a wife, like, a man watching these live streams, I just, thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Because <laughs> I, I know, I know you probably don't care about the masks, but you should because it's your face. But also thank you for watching. Jennifer Gould, I, oh, Kate, can you not copy and paste all the links and stuff? Wait, what? I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not quite sure what the question means. Um, 
Britt Clark, sharing is the absolute best. The more you share, the more people will find our favorite creators. Yes, 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 absolutely. Um, Jennifer Gould, I talk about your channel all the time. I tell people who might not go on YouTube. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Kate, I've Kate Pugli, I've had trouble finding the links in some of your videos for some reason lately. All that comes up is your merch. Girl, you don't know where my description box is. Okay, guys, a description box is now I've started doing what I got this from Michelle Wong. If you go here, here's a tutorial. It's soups quick. Look underneath this live stream. There's a little thing that says open me with like little V's pointing downward. And then when you click on it, that's a description box. So my merch is nothing to do with the description box. My merch is a separate situation that always pops up when you watch my videos. But the description box is separate from that. So you have to click on the description box to see all the things. You know what I mean? Okay. I hope that was helpful. I don't know how else to explain it. Okay. Debbie Rosales, I tend to shop more from Instagram. We'll start shopping on YouTube then. <laughs> um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lourdes said, I always use your links because I know how hard you work. Hashtag use the links, people. Lourdes, man, I'll tell you what. Lourdes knows where it's freaking at, okay? Mary Beth Davis, I will definitely use the links. Well, thank you, Mary Beth Davis. Sylvie, Sylvie is here. I love Sylvie. Pete is always wanting to know what you are drinking. Well, I, okay, so I'll repeat what I'm drinking. This is a Cape Cod. It's a Tito's and cranberry. A double, possibly a double and a half. Maybe a triple. No, just kidding. It's a double. Maybe. A girl like me with Chloe M. Yes. Hi, girl. Oh, she's about to use my BK Beauty code. Yes, that's another thing, too. You can always find codes, like discount codes and stuff like that, in description boxes as well. Vi Monty, no, Kate, you have to click on show more. Yes, you do. That's correct. It's, that's what I meant. You know what I meant. Oh, shoot. Someone just, I got two notifications at once and someone just sent me a Venmo PayPal and I missed it. So if it was you, please, please speak up and I will shout you out. I'm so sorry. I got two things at once and it covered you up. Okay, so that's that's more descriptive. With the description box, you need to click on show more. Sorry, I didn't clarify that. That's correct. Okay, I'm scrolling up. Oh, Britt Clark says, also thumbs up the content you like. It tells YouTube what you and others want to watch. Also, the longer you watch makes a difference. This is all true. It's all true and it's all helpful. Um, sassy Red Fly Girl sent the Venmo. Oh, Sassy Red, sassy red Fly Girl? Is that? Yeah. Okay. Sassy Red Fly Girl sent me a, a Venmo to support my channel. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry I missed your message, but thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Jennifer Gould, have all the things you put in every description box in a doc file. Then when doing the description box, you copy from the doc and paint. Girl, I know that. <laughs> I love how Jennifer Gould's over here trying to tell me how to fill out a description box. <laughs> now, did you try this? Yes. <laughs> Many times, many. Oh, I've got all that. But like, you don't always use the same stuff, so you gotta add the new stuff. 
<laughs> you gotta add the new thing you talked about, which is sometimes a lot of new things. You know what I'm saying. Mary Beth Davis sent a PayPal. Oh, I said, oh, Mary Beth Davis sent me $50 on PayPal because you are fabulous. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry I've missed these and I think I need to focus my eyes upward toward my phone because that's where the, um, the notifications come in and I'm so sorry that I missed them. Thank you. So yes, all, all to say, all of that is, all of that is in my description box, my Venmo, PayPal, all the codes, all the links, my merch. Yeah. Oh, oh, and here's another thing. CC, $20. Sorry, not Sherry, but thanks for the laughs. <laughs> CC, you should be ashamed that you're not Sherry Ford. How dare you? I'm just kidding, CC. That's awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sassy Red Fly Girl said, okay, you missed the Venmo. Now drink. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know what I'm going to do? We're switching masks. Okay, so I have, <laughs> I'm just giving you a very sort of like, like 1800 situation over here. I have a bowl of what was once hot water and now is lukewarm and a towel. It's a very soft towel, so don't worry. We're going to wipe this off. Ooh, ooh. Rosy times. Mm. Okay. It's like revealing new skin. I make sure I get every little nook and cranny here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Great. Don't worry, there are more masks to come. Um, there was something else I was gonna say and then I got distracted by 10 other things. Just me. Okay, I know. <laughs> my producer in there or my manager or something is yelling at me. I have notes. Thank you. Um, Grace Maltese, by the way, please check out Kate's last tutorial. I loved it. Thank you so, so much. The last video I just put out came out yesterday. Um, and it is a tutorial about my go-to look right now, which is a, a bronzy, glowy, peachy look. Um, it's my go-to like go-to look just in general. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. I I like how the look turned out and I hope you will too. <laughs> People are dying about Jumanji. Oh, Swimbo, Swimbo. I wish I knew your actual name. Said a super chat for $27.99 Canadian. You are amazing. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Um, okay. People are dying. About okay. So we, wa we watched Jumanji 2 the other night. And I feel like there was something I was going to cover before this and before I got to this. And hold on a second. Let me, I don't know what it was. Well, let me put on a mask first. Okay, mask number two. We'll get to Jumanji. Don't worry. This is the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. I got this in a boxy charm. And this is a nourishing prebiotic green mask. Feed, I can't read this. Oh, feed the skin. <laughs> feed the skin with this versatile super green mask formulated with avocado and broccoli seed oils. What? Rich in omega fatty acids to help support the skin's moisture barrier. Sorry, it's very hard to read. Vitamin C and passion fruit acids help brighten for a fresh looking complexion. Okay, great. I love this mask. So it's supposed to be hydrating. It also has all those, you know, natural acids in it. It's supposed to smooth your skin. <laughs> Ooh, it smells so fresh. So fresh and so clean. Okay, I should have used, I, I don't know why I didn't use the, 
Damn it, I should use the brush. Oh well. We're just a lot going on here. A lot to focus on. We're gonna take it down. Down here in the little double chin area. Okay. Um, I have to tell you guys, I had a, I'm going to get to Jumanji. Oh my God. I had a piano teacher. Okay. Her name was Mrs. Hopper. I don't know if she is with us anymore. If she is, she's quite ancient. But it was when I was lived in Ohio, in Delaware, Ohio, which is where both Randy and I grew up. And I took, yeah, so she's my piano teacher. <laughs> and she was just this like lovely sort of plump sort of troll of a woman, but in a nice, in a good way, like, like a, like a, like a cute troll, like a loving, cute, like who lives in a hovel, one you want to be friends with. And so I would go to her, she taught at Ohio Wesleyan University, if anyone <laughs> If anyone knows, shout it out, Mrs. Hopper, Joanne Hopper. And she was so sweet. I mean, I really hated taking piano. I really hated it. I'm glad I did because I understand music better now, but geez Louise. So anyway, the point of my story is that she would pronounce words. It was so distracting to me as like, I don't know, I guess I was probably you know, 14 or 15 or something. And she, she, instead of saying fresh, she'd say fresh. Oh, it's so fresh. And she'd say treasure and pleasure and measure. And I just, it's always been a thing, like I've never gotten over it. Um, so you're all a treasure. It's a pleasure that you're here. And I hope you measure your comments well. I don't know. I couldn't do that one. That's, I don't know. That wasn't good. That last one. But <laughs> she also always like smelled like shake and bake. And I know that sounds really random, like I'm making it up, but it, I would come home and tell my parents, they can, they can vouch for me. I would come home and be like, I don't understand what the shake and bake smell is. Like it was so pungent and it was, it was all very distracting while I was like trying to do do re mi fa so la shake and bake it was just it was a lot okay <laughs> i've i've missed a lot sorry i'm scrolling i'm scrolling Oh, Gwyn's 54. Happy birthday, John, and thank you for sharing Kate with the world. Um, okay, everyone wants to talk about Jumanji, so <laughs> kind of. Some people do. Oh, my mom <laughs> my mom said every word of this story is true about Mrs. Hopper. Like, this this is real. This is real. Okay. Just to remember that every time you say treasure, pleasure, or measure, or fresh, fresh, remember that. So, wait, people are, people are yelling things. Nancy Staggs, buy a lamp kit at a hardware st store and follow directions. My dad says she doesn't follow directions. I'm giving you a fat bastard double chin. <laughs> Excuse me. I can follow directions sometimes. Okay. So <laughs> Nancy Staggs, I'm sorry that sounded rude. No, it's fine. It's it didn't sound rude. I mean, it didn't. It didn't. Okay, so Oh, Kristen Glay Parker. Hi, Kate. Watching you from my treadmill today. Yes. What? 
MB, what do you do there? I, I think people are having separate conversations. Okay, 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 I get it. So we're talking about The Rock, we're talking about Jumanji. <laughs> Jumanji 2. So Jumanji, I does everyone remember Chris Van Allsburg? Chris Van Allsburg. One of my favorite like illustrator authors, right? He was both from when I grew up. He did the black and white. Oh my God, can I talk? <laughs> he did the black and white drawings. And his books always had, like, I remember going to the library and I was obsessed with him. And I'd be like, I must find all his books. And they had this very eerie, creepy nature to them. He wrote Jumanji, right? Right? Yes, he did. I know this to be yeah, true. Okay. So, so now there's, I'm telling you like you don't know. Now there's a movie series based on that with The Rock. Did you know? Well, yes, you probably did. So this is something that I, there was also like an initial movie that came out when we were much younger with Kirsten Dunst and Robin Williams. Am I making that up? Um... And it was terrifying. Like the thought, it's like Jumanji is like a nightmare, right? You just get dropped in the middle of the game and there's all these terrifying, this wildlife and giant things are attacking you and and like and, and the ocean and the jungle. And it's just like, it's just a lot. Sorry, I'm explaining Jumanji like people don't know what Jumanji is. <laughs> so let me tell you. So anyway, the point is that we watched Jumanji 2 the other night. The point is that I actually do like these movies when I thought I wouldn't like them. And guys, The Rock, I just, I didn't know. Like I didn't, I didn't care about The Rock for a long time because I was like, oh, wrestling and wrestling, I don't care. But then like, you know, Randy's a fan of him and I'm like, all right, and everything he does is so legit. Like, his comedic timing is so good. He's one of those people who can kind of do it all, which is absolutely annoying and unfair. And I just think, I just think The Rock for president. Anyone? No? Hot take? I don't know. Maybe shouldn't have said it. Kind of feel like it. I mean, if we're going, if we're going in one vein, that. Mm. Um, but Jumanji 2 did not disappoint Jumanji. The first Jumanji was amazing. I just have to say, like, it, it's a very, you think it sounds not complex. You're like, well, that's dumb. That's a dumb movie. That's how I felt. And then I like really dug in and I, like, I had to make Randy pause it a million times because I was like, wait. So like Jack Black is who now though? But the what? Like what's happening? And these people are doing such an amazing job of impersonating other people. Kevin Hart doing Danny Glover is truly amazing. Just saying the most like old person things one can possibly imagine, but it's so endearing and he does it so well. And <laughs> The Rock doing Danny DeVito, could you ask for more? And like, so you can watch it two ways, right? You can be like, wow, this is amazing. I'm watching The Rock impersonating Danny DeVito. But if you really like just try to like forget that it's The Rock and you're like Danny DeVito, I could see it. You know what I mean? They're doing such a good job. And I was so impressed. I sound crazy, but I mean it and I'm dead serious. If you need something very fluffy, but also unexpectedly better than you thought to watch, maybe watch Jumanji too. Also Jack Black, how can you go wrong? Kathy McCoy, Jack Black is also the bomb and Kevin Hart is everything, yes. Amber Unruh, The Rock totally surprises you. The man can act. <laughs> he really can, he really, really can. Um, sorry, I'm, I've, I've missed so much. Um, 
Okay, so there's an intense conversation about Pittsburgh. I see. I understand. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Um... Ali Sun said the best Chris Van Allsburg book is Bad Day at Riverbend. Oh, I don't remember that one. Um, okay, Robin Williams was in the original. I got it right. Michelle Eaton, Dwayne Johnson, who's The Rock, if you didn't know. Some people might not know. I don't know. Came to our building, our floor, to meet with a liquor distri distribution company in Cincinnati a couple months ago. Everyone lost their shit except me, not into celebrities so much. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Kong's mom said, I've never watched Jumanji because it looks stressful. <laughs> it is stressful. Admittedly, it is stressful. Um, but, like, in a fun way? Okay, Jenny with a Y, The Rock 2020. Yes. Um, okay, so we, <laughs> we talked about Jumanji too. Julianne Myers, I love that. I love that about the movie too. It really showed their versatility as actors. Yes, Jumanji, Jim, Jenny with a Y, Jumanji 2, unexpectedly watchable. Ex oh, Lauren, mask removal time. <laughs> Looks like someone's a little controlling, Lauren. <laughs> okay, I'm removing my mask. I'll do what you say. No, because it's like disappearing into my face. Okay, this is a good time. Better off red, whispering, I've never seen Jumanji either. We'll get on it. You and Tyler will love it. What are you doing? It's good. Jerry Morrison is horrified that Better Off Red hasn't seen Jumanji. There's a whole drama happening in the comment section, and it's bananas. Lord is Selman. I didn't think I would like Jumanji, <laughs> Jumanji too, but it was great. Yes, remove that mask. Well, damn. Excuse me. All right. I think it's removed. I'm going to just keep on removing this mask for an hour because everyone told me to. I think it's gone. Okay, great. Lon White. The Robin Williams Jumanji movie is awesome and the new Jumanji movies are totally different. You can watch the new ones without betraying Robin Williams. <laughs> that is a very intense comment. I feel like it's serious. Okay? Serious. Everyone's attacking Sarah for not seeing Jumanji. Good, good, good work. <laughs> Agnieszka Pietraskiewicz. Jack Black in High Fidelity is amazing. Well, I mean, he's, that's my favorite thing he ever did. Besides School of Rock. He's just, he's just a super talented guy. He's so talented. I love him in everything. Even if it's something that I don't really love, I love him. Um, okay, I'm just, just taking it all in. Ali Sun, I knew someone who had never seen Ever After. I couldn't speak for at least a minute. <laughs> Guys, go and watch Ever After. Also, another movie that I always forget about, but I love and I've seen a million times. Okay. Jenny with a Y quoting Jack Black from High Fidelity, a Cosby sweater. <sighs> Guys, if you haven't seen High Fidelity, either one, the original movie or the new adaptation of it with Zoe Kravitz, it is, both of them are amazing. And very rarely does something that tries to recreate something else, very rarely is that incredible. I'm telling you, High Fidelity, I think it's on Hulu, I think, Randy will correct me if I'm wrong, um, is truly amazing. She plays the John Cusack character, and she plays it perfectly as a woman. 
and it's amazing. Get into it. <sighs> People are now just quoting, Randy is quoting Jack Black in High Fidelity. Um, yes, Jenny with a Y, you have to watch the new series. You do. You really do. If you guys love anything about the original High Fidelity movie, you have to watch it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Just perfect. Okay. So this is a perfect time to let you know that, well, first of all, it's a perfect time to put on a mask. <laughs> Let's put on the third mask in the series. By the way, speaking of description boxes, I've gotten wise and all of this stuff is listed in the description box before I even started. So if you wanna try one of these masks, these are some of my favorite, favorite masks. This is my fourth of this one. My fourth. Okay, so this is the Pharmacy Honey Potion Mask. This is like my go-to, like this is where you can double mask and triple mask because it is, now this I don't use a brush with because I like to massage it in. Um, but this is the Pharmacy Honey Potion Mask. It's being blown out. But it is a renewing antioxidant hydration mask. Dramatic reading. This intensely hydrating facial mask is blended with honey, propolis, and royal jelly, rich in amino acids to help revitalize and renew the look of dry skin. The balm gently warms and transforms into a nourishing cream as it's massaged into skin, leaving a smooth, glowing complexion. You notice how all of these end with complexion? It works, though, doesn't it? So this... <laughs> This is like my favorite mask of all time, truly. Like, obviously, because I bought so many. Um, it can do no wrong. Not only is it hydrating, it also gives you the rosiest cheeks. I feel like I see a difference after, I mean, all these masks, I feel like I see a difference after I use them. But like this, I feel like I'm getting hydration, but I'm also getting cell turnover. I feel like such a scientist when I say that, but... Um, it's just so nourishing and it also gets tingly and warm and I love that and I like to, because it's so like creamy and it foams, not foams up, but it gets like super white. I like to just give myself like a nice face massage with it. Mmm. Wow, this is something I never thought I'd be doing live for a bunch of people <laughs> about 10 years ago. This isn't a look I thought I'd be rocking. Look at me now. <laughs> look at me now. All right. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the comments. Michelle Eaton said, damn girl, I need to get into my skincare game for real. Yeah, you do. Get up in that skincare routine. We're talking about Bob Newhart now, and I don't know what happened, but I do love Bob Newhart. Um, Kim McConnell, I have that in my cart for the Sephora sale. Well, did you use my affiliate link? <laughs> what if I might just become that person? I mean, that's going to get annoying, admittedly, only for tonight. Did you use my affiliate link? Did you? Huh? 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 Did you? Okay. What did I miss? Mr. Kong's mom. Mr. Kong's mom. Oh my God. The pharmacy honey potion is a holy grail of mine. Oh my God. So good. See, Mr. Kong's mom loves skincare. Do you understand? that you need this mask. It's not just me, okay? Michelle Eaton, girl, I'm doing great if I do one per week. What the hell? Listen, you can do more than one mask a week. I just feel like you have to like, 
mix it up. You can't just do a bunch of like clay masks. You know what I mean? Like you can, you can use a hydrating mask like this, like two to three times a week, if not even more. Okay. Catnip four, I'm getting anxious. This mask number three, my face would be falling off. No, no, this is the mask where your face doesn't fall off. This is the mask where your face is like thanking you because it's it's hydrating and magical. Like this, this out of everything I've shown you is the best mask, period, period. Lauren Boyles, mine too. No, Lauren, catnip, catnip four and Lauren, <laughs> catnip four and Lauren, no. Incorrect. Okay. Better off red. Hi. Oh, better off red saying hi to Sherry Ford. Sherry Ford is here. Hello, Sherry Ford. Um. Sorry, just trying to, see. I'm just overwhelmed by all the comments. Um, Ali Sun, oh my God, speaking to my heart. One of my favorite and most hated ending, oh, hated endings. Sitcoms is how I met your mother, guys. Guys, guys, don't come for me. I don't care. I cannot stand how I met your mother. And Randy, I judge him for it harshly. Before he moved to New York, he was like obsessed with that show. And then he got here and he's like, oh, that's like nothing like New York. Like this is, that's not correct. And I'm like, correct. It's literally a cardboard cutout sitcom version of New York. And I can't with it. I'm sorry. That and Big Bang Theory, I just, I'm going to just like leap off of my fire escape. Like get out, get out of here. Oh no, I missed my dad's comment. Did my dad comment? Let me scroll up. Oh, my dad said the birthday girl has it and she is beautiful. My mom has the honey potion mask. I think that's what he's saying. <laughs> Maybe I'm just making that up, but she does have the honey potion mask and she is beautiful. Kim McConnell, Kate, I will now. Good, Kim. <laughs> Use those affiliate links. Wow, I've never looked more terrifying than this exact moment. Penn Smith. Oh my God, I love Big Bang. Penn Smith. No, no. <clears throat> Jenny with a Y, BRB, gotta make another drink. Yeah, you do. Jennifer Kleinrock. Hi. Kathleen Smith. If you want skin like Kate, one must mask. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. I'm just like stretching my knees out, guys, because I'm standing. I know you think it's weird that I'm standing, but I'm standing because I don't have another option here in this apartment. <laughs> don't try to give me options. I thought about it. Don't worry about it. Um, oh my goodness. There's so, there's such a varied of... Oh, but Penn Smith said, How I Met Your Mother is, okay, okay. I don't know how you can hate on How I Met Your Mother, but like Big Bang, but um, okay, Penn, I forgive you. <laughs> Mr. Kong's Mong, oh my God, you stand there? Yes, girl, I'm standing. Everyone's always horrified. I, I'm standing because like, I'm literally filming my bed is down here. I'm filming on like a very tall Ikea dresser and I live in a 275 square foot apartment. So like, I guess I could buy like a bar stool. Like I'm very tall lady. So I'd have to be like a very large bar stool that I would put where I do not know. I do not know where I would put it. It would just be another thing I'd have to shove into a corner. But here's the thing, and this might be a little too in depth for people. But like, 
it helps it, it helps me stay energized standing when i'm sitting i was filming on the ship when i when i did my cruise ship contract i would film sitting and it was fine but i noticed like a difference in the energy in my videos when you're standing you have more like your energy comes out more um which is what we learned in acting school aren't you glad i <laughs> i've told you that acting 101 but it's true it's actually true voiceover artists like standing using their hands like all that stuff so i do think it's actually helpful in sort of a weird inadvertent way but it's really just spawns out of the fact that i live in a sad cardboard box of an apartment <laughs> do you like how i spin that yeah it's positive mr kong's mom okay how tall are you i'm 5'10. 510 Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Jaden Riley said, favorite sitcom is mom. Such good writers. I can't stand Big Bang or How I Met Your Mother. I actually surprisingly did like mom. They played it on like a loop um, when I worked for Norwegian Cruise Line and we had to just take whatever we could get. And I love Allison Janney. I think she's, her comedic time, timing is on point. She could be given like absolute schlock. Cause I mean, it's by the same maker as Two and a Half Men and it's Chuck Lorre. And I'm like, mm, not really like huge into that, but she is great. Um, Anna, what's her name? Anna, Anna, Anna. Damn it, I can't think of her name. Randy Ferris, not really a huge fan of hers. Not really a huge fan of hers, but like, I feel like everyone else in that show is great. Um, Ferris, everyone's Anna Ferris, Anna Ferris, Anna Ferris, Anna Ferris, got it. Um, everyone's talking about sitcoms and I'm not sure y'all okay Jenny with a Y y'all she's not kidding these NYC apartments are hurting for horizontal real estate yeah it's crazy guys I'm not I'm not a normal person okay I live <laughs> I live in like a tiny apartment in Manhattan I'm not this isn't like a sprawling situation over here like Trust me, I probably wouldn't have the TV in the background if it was <laughs> sprawling. That wouldn't be the go-to, you know what I mean? Um, Jennifer Gould, are those your lips, Kate, on the wall behind you? <laughs> no, but thank you. Can you imagine if I just had like my own lips like put up on the wall? Like how gross would that be? But let's just say this. Let's not put anything of ourselves up on the wall behind us. That's just, it's not cute. It's not cute. No, those, it's just, this is just like a canvas art situation I got online a few years ago. Um... Holly Howard, what happened to the chalk wall behind you? Girl, I painted over that shit. That was ugly. I had a subletter, one of many, many subletters who subletted this apartment while I was doing acting jobs. And she, um, just, you know, she did a DIY chalkboard uh, situation behind me. And I made, you know, lemonade out of lemons. And I put a quote up there. But a few weeks ago, I got serious. And I was like, this got to go. This has got to go. I hate it. So I just wanted like the white wall and the lips and that was it. So upgrade. Aren't you guys happy? <laughs> Mr. Kong's mom. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize you were in Manhattan. I just visited for the first time last November and I loved it, but likely could not live there. Holy cramped everything. I'm spoiled with space. Well, lottie freaking da, Mr. Kong's. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I know. Everyone's spoiled with space compared to here. Um, and no, don't live here. Just just from me to you, don't live here. 
Um, X grade Dove X. I know someone whose real lipstick mark is tattooed on their husband's butt. It's gross. Um, Miss Rob, Robbie Lou, where did Randy go while you subletted? No, he didn't go anywhere. Like I've had this apartment for 10 years. So before Randy lived here, that was when I had the subletters, but this last time he stayed here. So I didn't sublet the apartment. Subletting's terrible, by the way. Never do it. You'll want to kill yourself. Just saying. I don't know why you would ever choose to do it, but if you were thinking about it, don't do it. Don't do that. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so Something else I wanted to talk about, I know we're going long, but you know what? Sometimes that happens, but we're just feeling the vibes here. Um, first of all, I want to tell everyone who's been on us to start Ozark. We started Ozark. We've seen the first episode. Love it. We're going to keep it up. We also started, I have this mask, I swear, like I look like a monster, but it's, you know what, this is just how we're rolling. Ozark and we re started re-watching Schitt's Creek. And I have to say, loving Ozark, we need to push through Schitt's Creek because I love everyone in it. Dan Levy, both Randy and I agree, like his, he is the best thing on that show. Like everyone else is a little hit or miss so far. He is just, his deliveries are so, so good. I'm not fully like drawn in, but you know what? Like a million bazillion people can't be wrong. So we're just going to keep going. I think all those people are incredibly funny, incredibly talented. So we're just going to keep going. But I think we're on episode three of that. Um, Nancy Staggs, I love the head wrap you wear, but I cannot wear it. I wear glasses and it either works itself off my head or I'm wearing it on my eyebrows. <laughs> you look great in them. It's, you know, here's the thing. You have to find the right texture of head wrap. Like you can't just throw any old like scarf on your head and call it a day. You know what I mean? Like it depends on your hair. It's, it's very precarious. People think head wraps are just like a snap. Well, they're not. Look at me, look at me now. You got a zhuzh up, this is falling out. It's a whole situation. Um, Swimbo said Our Ozark is great, but it's pretty heavy. Um, okay. The other thing I wanted to talk about before, you know, we have to go. Also, I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna take it off. Um, a lot of people, a couple live streams ago, were talking about the Sephora layoff and they were asking about it. And I actually, I couldn't speak to it because I, I hadn't looked into it and I didn't feel like I was educated on it. So, but Britt Clark did a video on it and we've been Marco polling about it. And then I read probably, I want to say like four or five articles on the layoff and I just have to say, maybe no one cares at this point. This is probably coming gone. Um, I guess I just don't, like, I, I've seen some things on social media where people are very adamant and they're like, I don't want to support them and this is terrible. I have to say, like, I don't really agree. Um, I think that the way that Sephora, it sounds like the way, I don't know all the ways in which they handled the layoff and telling their part-time and seasonal employees that they were no longer, um, you know, that they were laying them off, that they, they were no longer employed. I think that that might have been in question. Um, but I feel like I can really speak to this personally because Randy works for Tao, which is a very prominent restaurant group in New York City. 
if not one of the most famous restaurant groups in New York City. And um, so a bunch of restaurants are sort of under the umbrella of Tao. And the same thing happened to him. Like he, he got laid off. He did get called personally by his management. They said they were giving him two weeks severance pay. Um, and there was a time when they thought they could, you know, we didn't, none of us knew that most people did not know how serious this was or how long it could go on. And so they basically kind of had to get honest and we're like, we can't, we don't know how long this is going to go. We can't just keep paying you your, your weekly pay until whenever. And so, yeah, he got a personal call from his manager, which is very, very gentle and very nice. And I think that's definitely how the Sephora situation should have gone. But beyond that, um, a lot of people are dealing with that. And so I was reading these articles and beyond like how it was maybe not dealt with in the best way, I was kind of like, how is this different from everyone else? This is the same situation as what we're dealing with. Like it's, it's the same. And so I guess I just don't really understand um, the extreme outrage regarding the Sephora layoff because that's what almost everyone's dealing with in that kind of industry. So I don't know. I just wasn't, I just kind of wanted to address that because I had a lot of people, you know, commenting and writing about it. And I just really, um, don't get it. I don't get it. I hope I was, I hope I, I feel like I'm being diplomatic enough. I of course like care about, you know, people's jobs and I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to be cavalier, but at the same time, like everyone's dealing with that. Um, I don't think it's a reason to not buy from Sephora. Um, there are people who are still employed with them and that's all I've got to say about that then. So, um, oof, oof, debuff, debuff, debuff. What did I miss here? Oh, and that's the other thing too. I'm sorry. So, uh, this is jogging my memory. A very important part of the the um, equation is that I feel like these people can go on unemployment, right? Like Randy's on unemployment, I'm on unemployment. I've been a seasonal part-time worker in retail. I had very few hours. There's a lot of like, I saw a lot of outrage from these people who are upset and I don't blame them for being upset. It's all very upsetting, but it felt very like extreme um, because I, I can speak from experience. These people, I guarantee you, on unemployment are very well making what they made, if not more than what they made as a seasonal or part-time working, uh, seasonal or part-time worker at Sephora. They are absolutely making a comparable wage, if not more. So I, I, I felt like there was a lot of like feigned, like, oh, it's the end of the world. What will we do? And it's just like, yeah, that's, that's a lot of people. It's a lot of people and it's, it's, it's scary and it's, it's new, but like, I guess I just didn't understand why Sephora was, was like headline material because we dealt with that like three weeks ago, you know? So let's see what people have to say. And now we're going to you. Um, Kristen Myers, I bought more stuff. It's ridiculous. They didn't want to shut their doors and not sell as much product as a business cannot pay their employees if they're taking a huge hit in sales. Um, Carrie Jewett, I realize they are our large corporation, but most corporations cannot handle keeping staff and paying overhead with no money coming in. Um, Stephanie Bridges, I just think people like to hate on Sephora. Fair enough. I'm sure there's some of that too. Michelle Dreyer, I agree with you on Sephora. Um, 
Ms. Robbie Liu, I think it's hard when executives continue to make their salary and people who directly serve lose income. Sure. I mean, there are people who work for Tao who are at the top and I'm sure they're still making money. They weren't let go. But like, again, so many companies, so many situations. I don't, I guess I don't understand. Um, I don't understand the Sephora thing. Sorry. Um, Michelle Eden, my sons are working essential, going to work. I'm worrying every day. I get the reasons. Um, Carol Ann, top NBA executives are taking cuts from their salaries to pay and keep their staff. Wow, I didn't, I didn't know that. If that's true, that's awesome. Michelle Dreyer, Macy sent us home mid-March for two weeks and on uh, the 30th of April called to let us know we were laid off. Um, uh, Jennifer Gould, I thought they fired them, not paid off. Uh, oh, my mom's leaving. Bye, mom. Um, they're laid off. So that means that they can collect unemployment now, which I mean, honestly, in, in the state we're in, um, I think that that's preferable. I mean, it just is. So I, I guess that's also another thing I don't really get. Um, <laughs> Georgia Colster, I think it's just YouTube drama makes for good videos. Sure. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to take my mask off because we probably need to wrap it up, 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 wrap it up. Oh, that's the thing I forgot to mention. Okay, so there's a giveaway. There's a, a sponsored giveaway for my youngish t-shirt going on. It's through Teespring. It's just one shirt. It's not anything cray cray. But um, Teespring is sponsoring a giveaway. So it's one size large youngish premium crew neck black t-shirt in the size large and if you go into my description box so if you click show more you can enter the giveaway it's super easy um and you could win a youngish t-shirt which is super cool and that's one of my favorite merch designs so check that out um, and I'm going to wrap this up just doing some skincare just to finish it off. I'm going to use my, this is all stuff that I used in our recent skincare video, so you can check it out, but this is my pharmacy cheer up eye cream. Jennifer Kleinrock, I just got finished using the pharmacy honey potion mask. It's in the description box. <laughs> Theme of the night. Check the description box. It's all there. I mean, the masks I used are there. Um, Epic Theory, your skin is hurt. No, it's not, girl. Or, or boy, or whoever you are. My skin is great. Confused. I would never do any put anything on my skin that hurt it. Um... Allie's son, I cannot imagine working retail. People are so rude. Correct. It was truly terrible. Um, I usually use this in the day, but this is my pineapple bright serum and I'm kind of mindlessly putting on skincare. So <laughs> I'm putting it on. Um, and let's see, what else do I want to put on? I'm going to put on my... Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. Um, just because your skin is rosy and red doesn't mean it's hurt. That's that's another thing I just want to mention. Like, my skin feels amazing. And this is what I do every single week. And uh, pretty much never felt better about my skincare. So, just saying. Um... Let's see, what did I miss? Kate, in case you're about to end this, 
This is Kathy McCoy. I want to say thank you so much for going live. This was fun. You're so much fun and so cool. Also, what a fabulous group that follows you. I'm happy to be subbed. Thank you so much, Kathy McCoy. I am wrapping this up. Um, oh, I'm wrapping this up, but, um, I'm the last thing I'm going to put on is my good molecules, uh, rose hip seed oil. And I want to thank you guys all for being here. I know this went a little bit long, but I thought we, we were just like really going the flow here. And um, if you could give this video a like, um, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And like I said, you know, every <laughs> everything is in the description box. You can find everything there, the, the link to my merch. Um, the link to the masks that I use tonight, which are some of my favorite masks. Um, the link to my giveaway for my youngish shirt. Um, and the link to my PayPal and Venmo account, which is another way, uh, instead of super chat that you can support my channel. And, um, my dad is leaving. Bye dad. I'm leaving too. <laughs> Thank you guys everyone who like stayed for the long haul. I really appreciate it. This was so, so fun. Oh, Georgia, Georgia Colster sent 99 cents. Well, girl, thank you. I will take that 99 cents. Thank you very much. And please, you know, join me again. I do these live streams every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and I look forward to seeing you this Monday at 7 p.m. So, cheers. Okay, bye.